lesson three connectives part two we have negation the negation of any statement is the reverse or opposite of such a statement let a statement be p the negation of p is written in this form if p is true negation p is false and vice versa in words if p has the truth value t then negation p will have f and if p has the truth value f then negation p will have t in summary the following table shows the picture of the relationship between p and negation p so p is truth false just a single statement negation p becomes false truth when it is truth negation is false when it is false negation is truth next is implication or conditional statements in mathematics many statements are of the form if p then q such statements are called conditional statements or implications when two simple statements are combined by if then such that the first statement implies the second they are denoted by this the if clause the if clause of statement p is sometimes called antecedent while the then clause statement q is called the consequent the conditional statement if p then q can also be read as a part of it p implies q q only if p p is sufficient for q p is necessary for q the truth table for if p then q is as follows you have the truth table p and q with the usual arrangement if you check very well we only have f at this point note the statement if p then q is always true except when the first statement is true and the second is false in other words the outcome is false if the first one is true and the second is false once you can note this you can work with implication or conditional statements properties of if p then q one converse of if p then q is if q then p inverse of if p then q is if negation p then negation q three contrapositive of 
if P then Q is if negation Q then negation P examples number 20 study the statements below and draw a truth table if P then Q a if a dog barks then a cock crows b if a musician can sing then a dumb person can talk d if two cube is equal to six then square root of 16 is equal to plus minus four d if two plus three is equal to six then two divided by six is equal to three solution you have the truth table with statements p and q and the usual arrangement this outcome as i have explained when the first statement is true and the second is false the outcome is false in other words if the first is true and the second is true the outcome is true if the first is false and the second is true the outcome is true if both are false the outcome is also true this is implication or conditional statements on the list we also have by implication or by conditional statements let p be a statement and q another this is called by conditional statement and is true if p and q are both true or both false otherwise it is true the by conditional statement this is read as follows a part of it p if and only if q that is p i f f q b p if q c if p then q and if q then p d p is necessary and sufficient for q the truth table for p if and only if q is given below you have statements p and q the usual arrangement the outcome is that when both are true you have a true result when both are false you also have a true result outside this every other outcome is false in other words when p is true q is false the outcome is false when p is false and q is true the outcome is also false examples number 21 study the statements below and draw a truth table for p if and only if q a a fish will swim if and only if a bird can fly b i can pass the exam if and only if i cannot read my books c trees can walk if and only if men can walk d the dumb can talk if and only if the deaf can hear solution 
you have the two statements p q look at a a fish will swim that is true a bird can fly it is also true i can pass the exam it is true i cannot read my books it becomes false trees can walk it is false men can walk it is true the dumb can talk it is false the deaf can hear it is false by the rule of this statement the outcome is only true when both are true and both are false otherwise it is false at every other point end of lesson three